Everyone talks about fine-tuning, but what actually happens when you do it? When you fine-tune a language model, you are not teaching it something completely new. You are slightly reshaping its understanding of the world so it performs better on a specific task or in a specific domain. Think of the base model as a fluent generalist. The fine-tuned model will just be an expert at one specific field. You are telling it to forget about being good at everything and just be really good at this one specific thing. And to do that, you show it thousands, if not millions of examples of exactly how to do that. Or for example, everything about healthcare and teaching it to be a healthcare professional. Technically, you are changing its billions of weights. So the parameters that shape the whole understanding of the model to adjust it to the new data you are giving it, which would be the examples representing the tasks that you wanted to achieve. But instead of retraining everything, the whole model, which would cost thousands, if not millions of dollars, depending on the model you are retraining, we will use techniques like LoRa and adapters to train a small subsets of parameters, which will in the end impact the whole model. It's just like in an exam, you know many books, but for each exam, you take condensed notes to help you remind of everything else. But in any case, you are fine-tuning or retraining the models to shape it to a specific task, however you do it. That's why fine-tuning works best when you have sufficient data, when you want consistency in output, not necessarily new knowledge, and when you evaluate carefully to avoid underfitting or overfitting, which I covered in previous videos. In short, fine-tuning doesn't make a model better or smarter. It makes it more specialized for a specific task. I'm Louis-François, CTO and co-founder of Towards AI, and follow me to learn more about AI.